if you pick a certain bandpass filter focusing on the material that you're interested in, in this example, water, um, you can greatly enhance the contrast. You can see on the right-hand side, like, like veins in, in the leaf uh, where the moisture still sits. That's neither uh, well visible in the color image nor in the broadband sphere image, but with a bandpass filter, um, you have a really nice contrast and, and can see the, um, the black veins on the leaf. Um, another specific example is uh, this collection of three white substances, powdered sugar, sodium carbonate, and natron, with a standard sphere image. Lower left-hand corner, you see no difference, um, but you can see in, in, in a wavelength comparison that um, at around 1600 to 650, 650 nanometers, they have different characteristics. So if you uh, select a bandpass filter specifically for that area and take the picture again, you see uh, white, black, and gray. So all of a sudden, you can um, clearly identify the, the different substances. A second benefit of the filter is also um, that it allows you to use uh, certain lower cost optics, not a not a fully standard visible uh, optic, but uh, for example, an NIR optic um, can be yeah can be with a certain bandpass filter still be used uh, in an acceptable way um, for sphere applications. As an example, here is a standard uh, yeah uh, an NIR optimized lens. Um, no further modifications. We put on a bandpass filter for 1600 nanometers. And you can see, now we apply the filter again, um, the picture is somewhat sharper. So um, there, there's um, a good way to also use more cost-effective NIR optics. 